All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Jawad al Tabai, uh, and I would like to show you how to quickly model a spiral staircase as such. Okay. All right. So let's get rid of this, and uh, I'll do a show. And here, basically, we have a staircase here, right, which we want to stretch along that curve. Okay. Uh, so let's do that really quickly. So the command that I'm going to use is flow. Okay, I'll select my object, hit enter, uh, click on the path, uh, and then click on the target path. And once I do that, you'll see that it's doing some weird stuff. It's twisting and, and whatnot, and it doesn't uh, uh, hit the surface. It goes double the height, so on and so forth. So let me delete that and let me show you a quick trick to make this work, okay? So I'll basically take this curve and I'll do a set PT, okay? I'll zero out everything in the Z direction, hit enter, now we have the circle. So ignore this outer part and this is what we have, okay? So now I'm going to do flow again, select my object, select the curve, and then select the target curve. And I want to make sure that stretch is turned on when it comes to flow. And here we go. A spiral staircase, right? Of course, you can uh, uh, be more precise about this and you can calculate the number of treads that you want and their depth and whatnot. Uh, but all of that needs to be done in a linear fashion, and then we make it flow along a curve. And that's it.